And hello, today we've got to be very quick because we're making leek and potato soup now. This tap was on there, this goes in here. And just a few gets sprinkled all over the place. When that goes in like that, you can hear them going like the clappers. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, go with the clappers because you don't have much time to waste you don't have much time because I've got the a wee stir don't want the end of the bun here just get that Finish the tune. Okay, that's that done. Quick demonstration there of Kearney's Cantor by Scott Skinner. And we'll finish uh, the selection by going backwards. We'll play John Stevens' Chance In. Now this is smelling beautiful. Uh, it's a shame that I should be stealing all this beautiful smell for myself. So we'll let the village smell it. Uh, here we go. Up you go, you dusty seagull bastard. Still to go. This is the way you do it, you see. And if you noticed, the, the leak which I had Behind my door, I guess it's good. The, the leak which I showed you there, which was on there, all the green bits, don't throw them away, they're quite tasty, you know. People see leaks and I think it's just the white bit, the blanch bit that they do. But if you can see that, no, you can't, but I can't. Uh, just getting ready. Important to soften the leaks. Must always soften the leaks, and then we can really get down to enjoy things. The reel normally wouldn't have played at that speed, of course, because we're not students and we're not in it for the money. But, but, but these are just absolutely couldn't be any better. A little bit of butter, a little bit of oil, whatever you like to do it in. I've only got oil here, so we don't have any problem with that. That's fine. Now, thank you to Kevin Davidson and Jean for providing the potatoes. I'll put them in here. Just let them go oh, here. Yeah, oh, you see that didn't go according to plan. <laughs> Oops. Now look. A slight accident there, but not to worry. Oops. This is the way they do it in TV, so we'll try and copy them, just fling that into the room. Not a bad idea, just to put the tatties in for a few while, see how we're going to do with them. And of course, because it's electricity, we'll need to turn it down a wee but otherwise it just keeps on hot until tomorrow or the day after the whenever another bit on the floor. So there we go. We can potato soup done in solitary isolation and then we tweak Well never so that's that's a big wooden spoon, that's the forest mechanics one. Spoon. A little bit of chicken stock into the pan, just like that. Oops. That's cheating, actually. I can't tell you where I was cheating, but it was. So that can go in there, and we can just have a wee breather to ourselves. Oh, a little bit of seasoning. We won't put all this in, we don't want to kill everybody, uh, so we'll just put a 
small amount of that. Nobody saw that, did you, Mike? Lean, no. A little bit of pepper for seasoning. And the essential thing is dried herbs. Always put the dried herbs into the cooking. Don't put fresh herbs into the cooking. Fresh herbs are for the plate if you're having salads and that sort of stuff, you know. It would just put a little, a wee bit of mixed herbs in there for the seasoning. So that should just boil away nicely. Well, it doesn't boil, no, no, it shouldn't boil. So it just simmers away nicely. So as I was saying, just let that do that. And find, it's, it's a great thing having an old cottage because you, you find pots and pans that have been here since, I don't know, probably 60, 70, this is at least 60 years old, I would say, probably 70. But the lid still fits perfectly. Amazing, yeah? You go to Ikea and Argos and these places now, and your pans are in the bin within two weeks. They were rubbish. So whether the neighbours or the seagulls like it or not, we're going to play the tune now from start to finish. The soup won't be ready, but don't worry, I'll be tasting the benefits of it later and we'll let you see. <laughs> Saying that the leek and potato soup has just come to a beautiful temperature and it's going to be a beautiful colour as well. The green of Bucky and the white of Bucky and the white of the potatoes. Big green and white, lovely. Great soup for Spider and his troops to go into battle in the Highland League, especially when they've got to play forest mechanics. Lovely. Couldn't be better. So answers on a postcard, or if you want, you can message me with a five pound note any time you want. Oh, do you see the item of clothing I'm wearing? That's okay. It's the right way around. It's a cat, I think, or some sort of. Okay, on that note, we'll say goodbye for now.